Hi everyone, I hope you all doing well. So today, instead of doing gardening, I'm going to share one of my family's favorite summer dessert. This is a cool and creamy panna cotta with strawberries. So this dessert is easy to make and does not require the use of an oven and you can even make it up to two to three days ahead. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a large bowl or a cup Sprinkle the gelatin over the cool water and let it stand for about five minutes to soften or allow the gelatin to bloom. Next step you're gonna do is you're gonna take a saucepan and you're going to combine your whipped cream, milk, and sugar. So in order to reduce the amount of sugar we consume, what I'm going to use today is I'm going to use a monk fruit sweetener, which is zero calorie. And the beautiful thing about this one is it does not have a funny aftertaste. Then you're going to actually put it on medium heat, bring it to a simmer or until the temperature reaches at about 120 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, making sure that you stir the mixture and keeping very close eyes on it so that it doesn't boil over. The other thing for you to tell is to make to um, turn off the heat when you see the first uh, one or two bubbles forming on top of the mixture. Then you're going to take it off the heat and then add your gelatin mixture. Stir until everything is smooth and well mixed in. And just in case, if you accidentally overheat your milk mixture, no problem. Just make sure you let it sit on the side for about 15 to 20 minutes until it cools down. Because anything that's warmer than 140 degrees Fahrenheit might end up damaging your fancy glassware. So, um, once you have it on the side and cooling down, you might see that there's a film uh, that forms on top. So if you want to get rid of that, you can give it a stir or use a colander to remove that film before you uh, pour the mixture into your serving glass to let it set overnight. The last thing you're going to add is your vanilla extract and then you're going to stir to combine everything. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the milk mixture and pour it into six half cup jars, glasses, or serving platter. So just in case you're wondering, I'm actually doing a double batch, so therefore I have more than six glasses to uh, pour my milk mixture into. Then you're going to wrap the glasses either individually or place all the glasses into a platter or a tray and cover the entire tray with plastic wrap to prevent a film to forming on top. So the panna cotta does require a minimum of six hours to set in the fridge. So this is a great dessert for you to make the night before or even up to two days in advance before serving. To prepare the strawberry toppings, I normally cut the strawberries into bite sizes, but you can cut it in any way that you like, smaller or bigger, it's up to you. Then you're going to add either granulated sugar or your favorite sugar substitute, give it a mix. And because I normally like to prepare the topping in advance, so what I normally do is add a squeeze of lemon juice to prevent the strawberries from oxidizing overnight. Now again, this is optional, so you don't have to add the or, um, lemon juice if you don't want to. So just before serving, what I normally like to do is I like to spoon as much or as little of the strawberry topping on each panna cotta as needed, and then add a piece of mint leaf on top for decorations. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to dig into one of these just to show you what it looks like on the inside. I hope you will try this recipe to make it to share with your friends and family. Take care everyone, enjoy, and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye for now.